A record number of new COVID-19 cases again today. And as of midnight in Toronto, Peel and Ottawa, they are facing new restrictions that include shutting down restaurant dining and closing gyms for 28 days. The decision is expected to have a big impact on the local economies there, with many more in Hamilton, Halton and Niagara areas watching closely and wondering, are we next? So with that in mind, we begin tonight with what the federal and provincial governments are doing to help secure businesses amid what officials are calling an alarming spread of the virus. Lisa Hefner has the latest. We're at a tipping point in this pandemic. The Prime Minister says we're seeing higher recorded cases of COVID-19 than ever during this second wave, which is a discouraging way to head into Thanksgiving weekend. Canadians flattened the curve before by following public health guidelines. What we do now will shape the numbers we see in two weeks and set us, hopefully, on the right track for family gatherings at Christmas. A new rent support program will go before Parliament to help businesses get through the pandemic. This will provide support to businesses directly, not through landlords. That's a key difference from the previous rent support program, which ended in September. Businesses will get government support depending on the amount of revenue they've lost due to the pandemic. As the circumstances of businesses improve, support will decrease. If circumstances worsen, it will increase. A business could have 90% of rent covered if it's subject to a lockdown, like restaurants, bars and gyms in Ontario hotspots as of tonight. We'll never forget the sacrifices you're making. Premier Doug Ford says federal programs will help. They've been true partners from, from day one. Anything we've ever needed, any request we've ever had from the federal government, they've gone above and beyond to support not just us, but the entire country. And the speed the Deputy Prime Minister uh, moved on is staggering. The employment rate is rising and bankruptcies are not. Amazingly, this has been the opposite, that this has been a year with relatively low numbers of bankruptcies, both personally and corporately. I can credit most of the support that was given during this time period and also some very understanding lenders. Marvin Ryder from DeGroote School of Business says he is more concerned about large businesses than small ones, like airlines and other industries relying on a winter travel season that may not come. I am still very positive, but we have to realize that if we wind up locking some things down for a year, even with the supports, I'm not sure everyone's going to survive this unscathed. The finance minister says current projections have the cost of the rent support for businesses at $2.2 billion by the end of the year. Lisa Hafner, CHCH News.